you know what the best photo is for your product? Do you know what the best title is? Do you know what the best listing is for your product? Well, in this video, I'm gonna go into how you can use Amazon's split testing feature, figure out exactly that. Okay, so jumping right into Amazon here, let's take a look at some skateboards as this is a good example of where we'll see different ways, you know, you can display a product by doing split testing, you can figure out what works best. And it could be, you know, a lot of people are just copying, but the right way to do this would be to say, okay, let's actually take the photos I have and figure out what's gonna convert best, what's going to get the best click-through rate, et cetera, et cetera. What's going to, in, in the end, drive the most sales for my product. Not just go with what other people are doing, because it looks like a lot of people are doing kind of a similar thing where they're showing all three sides of the board at the same time. The thing is, if you see a lot of people doing the same thing, it might be definitely a good idea to split test, you know, maybe that same thing versus something that goes kind of against what everybody else is doing, because that could stand out like, boom, what about this one? That could catch the eye because it's just a clear picture of the board. Maybe these up here look more clustered and it's confusing looking as you're scrolling through. And you know, you see one that's just down here by itself as you're scrolling and it catches your eye, it stands out, could be. Again, it's something to test, all right? You wanna test what works best for your product and not just go which, with what you think is cool. Let's see, so let, here, let's look at some vitamin C. This is always a good one that I've seen in the past where they'll do different things with the bottle. You would think it'd be something, how can you split test different main images for the bottle? Here we go, I'll show you here in a second. Like, just like this. Okay, so they made the bottle stand out more, take up more uh, space in the photo real estate by chopping off the dropper to be able to display the bottle better, to be able to make the words on the bottle more clear, stand out better. So that could be something good to split test if you have maybe a supplement product. Different ways you can make your product look bigger on the page than the rest. All right, and you can see they've tried different props and adding the splash in the background. I'm sure this is the supplement market, vitamin C especially, they probably tested this to death. But again, even, even with something like this that you see everybody else is doing one thing, split test something different. If you have some other ideas, definitely worth split testing because if it can help you stand out amongst the competition, great. Okay, so, but yeah, you can see different ones with boxes behind them. They begin cropped part of the top off, different things like that for split testing. Okay, now again, that's just the main images, but what about the title? These are other things you can split test. You can split test the titles. Okay, again, this is gonna help with click-through rate, SEO. Now, the other thing you can split test in the listing is the A plus content. Those are the three things that Amazon will allow you to split test. So let's just jump into that. And I'll go into that more in depth here so you can better understand how to set it up. So right now I'm in a Seller Central account and let's see, let's go, you're gonna to go to Brands, then you're going to go to the Brand Dashboard and you're gonna to go to Manage Your Experiments. Create and manage A-B experiments for qualifying products. Let's go in there. And I'm gonna show you some examples of some results we did in the past, but first I'm just gonna show you how to quickly set it up. Okay, so, you're gonna go create new experiment. And like I said before, you can do a plus content, product title, or main image. And again, a plus content, that's gonna be more, at the end of the day, you're gonna see what is going to drive the most sales. And those are the results I'm gonna show you. It's gonna show you what drove the most sales. But a plus content, that's gonna be more conversion rate related. Obviously, that's once they get into the listing, you're gonna be split testing your a plus content to see which one improves conversion rate the best, all right, and moves sales. Product title, that could be SEO related, you know, working with Amazon's algorithm and helping them show the product to the right people when they search. And, but also if it's an attractive, well copywritten title, it could also just draw the click, you know, as when they search, they see the attractive title, it's clear, it makes sense, it's well written, it draws them in, they click on it. Okay, main image, not so much SEO, but this is more about just like catching their eye. It's a clear image. They can see what it is. They're not confused. They click on it. Okay, click, good click-through rate, potentially more sales, as long as 
your A plus content's good. So you want to test all these things and your bullet points too. They don't allow split testing on the bullet points, but you get the idea A plus content, but that's fine. I mean, but it is what it is for now. You just have to go with what you can, what they offer for now. There are some other tools out there. I believe that we can go to later if you did want to split test bullet points. But for now, this is the free options within Seller Central. Okay, so let's just do an example of a main image and I can show you results we have just from split testing the main image. Okay, so we're gonna click on that. We'll select our reference ASIN and this one has six eligible. Yeah, this one has six variations total. Okay, so we're gonna go in and then let's just make sure we understand this real well. You're gonna name your experiment duration. Now, this is important. The recommended duration is eight to 10 weeks. Okay, so you can do less, but if you wanna make a good split test, the longer the better, all right? So, and it says you can always change your duration or end your experiment early if you like. So you're gonna pick your dates, hypothesis, just kind of like your idea, you know, what made it a successful test? Like what is your desired outcome for the test, okay? So you're gonna put that in here and yeah, then you're gonna select your main images, not just for the first one, but all your variations. This is a very important part. I'll show you the results and show you how to do this and not do this, okay? This is very important because when this first came out, we did this wrong, okay? We set this up wrong, we had to learn the hard way. So let me switch here. Okay, so this is an example of how not to do it. Okay, so this is a client we worked with a while back that was selling skateboards, and when we initially set up the test, it was incorrect. Now, here's why. Because this listing had three variations, okay? And so this is variation one. This is a different skateboard than these two here. This is variation two. This is variation three. So what Amazon is gonna make you do for the split test is gonna make you pick the version A image for all three of your variations and version B image for all three of your variations. You want to make all of your version A images the same, you know, whether they be, you either need, they either need to all be upside down images in this case, or they should have been all right side up showing both side images but we did it incorrectly. We had version A being upside down and right side up both sides. And so that messed up our split test because now at the end we saw the results for version A being a mix versus this mix, okay? It should have been just upside down versus right side up, not this additional misnomer, okay? So that's how not to do it. You wanna make sure all the version A's are the same style of photo versus version B being all the same style. Now, let me show you an example of how it should be. Okay, this is what it should look like. Version A, only upside down. Version B, only right side up. So when you get your split test results, it's only comparing these two types of photos and your results are very clear. Okay, now we did another split test later on where we did right side up, this version over here, right, only right side up, front and back versus upside down. And those are the results I'm gonna show you. We only did this versus that. Okay, so let's look at those results. Okay, so as you can see here, version A with both sides of the board showing at the same time in a vertical standing position versus just the right side up, uh, board by itself, this one worked out better. Okay, 71% probability version A is better. Okay, now it's just giving you some basic sales data and sales from search, total sales, units sold from search, units sold, majority or the total, conversion. Okay, so these are the things you want to split test for no for sure it's actually going to work for your product. I mean, I used to be an engineer and I would come to my boss with like some project I was working on and I'd be like unsure and he'd be like uh so are you sure or are you not sure? And I'd be like uh, uh well, let me let me just go back and do that over again. You know. So, do it right the first time, do your split testing, figure out what's going to work the best the first time, do it right and then you won't have to do it over and you won't be guessing, second guessing later what works best for your product. All right.
So that's it for now, guys. We'll be doing some more split testing on some other products later, and I'll probably make some more videos to show results of other types of products and whatnot. But still, you want to definitely test your own versus in your own market and see what's actually going to work best for your product and not rely on the results I'm telling you. Okay, well, that's it, guys. Until next time, make sure you like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and also, if you've done some split testing, let me know in the comments down below how it went. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one.